Hey there folks, today I am bringing you a UU battle against a guy who I will be referring to as Phil. He challenged me through my battle request form, uh, which is linked to in the description. And uh, he had a Skype account and he decided that he wanted me to call him Phil and that's fine. So, uh, looking at my team, I've got, it's nothing's changed, I haven't even changed the ordering of his team. Looking at his team, I, am, I see he's got Blastoise for probably rapid spinning, but he doesn't have a defogger. And Blastoise, it's kind of hard to rapid spin with Blastoise for the most part. So I'm thinking I am safe to set up my, uh, my Sticky Web first turn, so that's why I'm going to lead off with it. Um, yeah, threats on his end. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing a chestnut in action. I haven't before. Um, and I see that we've got two of the same Pokemon. Actually, in the same two slots is kind of funny that we both have Blastoise and Metagross in slots two and three, respectively. So, um, but looking at Elsa and his team, you know, I'm not seeing any super huge threats that I have to worry about, except for Blastoise. And Blastoise, is, we both have Blastoise, and I... I think that's the one I'm going to have to worry about the most. He leads off with Hatcher, so I'm thinking probably Scarfed. I kind of wonder whether he's going to go for the Rock Slide, and if he does, that's okay. Um, I'm Sashed, so I should be able to get up my uh, Sticky Web no matter what. He gets me down to 1 HP, thanks to the Sash, and Sticky Web's going to go up right now, and I get flinched. Bull. Bull. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that was lame. And, uh, but I'm hoping that he doesn't have anyone who can set up rocks. And I don't see it. Oh, well, I guess Metagross can, but we'll see. But now I, I know he's locked in because he outsped. So I go ahead and go out on Uchikoma to take the hit. And now, uh, the question is who's, who he's going to send out to take the obvious earthquake. Uh, and he decides to send out Blastoise. Now I've predicted him to go, uh, to actually go out into Rotom. And so I decide I'm just going to set up my rocks. So now here I guess I see whether his Blastoise has Rapid Spin or not. And I go ahead and switch Uchikoma out. I'm actually going to go out into my Umbreon. So if he has Aura Sphere, this is a bad move. And if he doesn't, then it's fine. And I actually don't have anyone on my team. I realized, uh, now that I've taken uh, the, the Verizion off this team, I don't have anyone to deal with Blastoise. Now, to be fair, Verizion's not great against Blastoise either, because almost all Blastoises have uh, Ice Beam. But he goes for the Dark Pulse on the Switch, that's fine, I, that's what I was expecting. And now I'm thinking, now it's time to find out whether he has the Aura Sphere. And I don't think he can one-shot me with an Aura Sphere anyway, and he decides to switch out, so I'm like, HA! No Aura Sphere! Very good to know. Very, very good to know. So I think I just go for, no, I go for the Foul Play here. I go for the Foul Play uh, just to see how much damage it would do. And uh, so he's got his Metagross out and it doesn't quite take him out, but it gets him down really close. So I am very happy with the situation. I'm very, very happy with the situation. He goes ahead and withdraws his Metagross here, not wanting to have it die. And he goes out now into his uh, Chestnut. So now I get to see what Chestnut will do. And I go for the foul play, and it's going to be resisted, and that's fine. It's fine. It's not like he has justified or anything like that. Uh, and, yeah, so I'm just going to want to switch out on this next turn. I have several, actually, have very, I have quite a lot of really good options of things I can switch into uh, this guy. So I decide I, I'm going to just uh, call Mick back, and I'm going to go out into Stella Luna, my special Crobat, who did so well the last time you saw it, and he has the spikes. So they're thinking, oh, you, you got Crobat out, you can just go for the Defog. And no, I don't have, this is a fully offensive Crobat. Three attacks plus Nasty Plot, it's not going to happen. So he goes ahead and withdraws, and uh, you know, the withdrawal was very obvious, and you might be wondering, why didn't I just go for the Nasty Plot? And the answer is because I'm pretty sure that Haxorus outspeeds me, and I just need, I just wanted to do some damage against it when it came in. Instead he goes out into Blastoise, and something. okay, he probably, probably, probably has the Ice Beam. So I don't want to stay in here, and I'm going to go ahead and withdraw Stall Luna, and I'm going to go out back into Mick because I know that Mick walls him completely. Uh, I know that he can do absolutely nothing against this Umbreon since he doesn't have Aura Sphere, and this is why you should run Aura Sphere on your um, on your Mega Blastoise. Although I don't actually run Aura Sphere on mine either. Uh, I can. It's it ha it was it's an egg move, and I did breed my Blastoise uh, my Squirtle rather to have Aura Sphere, but I just chose not to use it. And now he shows me he has the Aura Sphere, and this just struck me dumb. I was like, what? What? But why didn't you use it earlier? It's like, you just did it to fake me out. So, uh, I've lost my Cleric, and that is really bad. Uh, now, you know, honestly, I really should have Florgus in that slot. Uh, if I'm looking for a, a Wish Cleric, 
Uh, Florgus is the better choice in UU, but I just don't like Florgus. I don't the way it, I don't like the way it looks. I don't. Well, that's mainly it. I don't like the way it looks. It just it just rubs me the wrong way. So anyway, I go ahead and Mega Evolve here. Um, I'm now Mega Blastoise. And uh, the switch, uh, actually, I didn't know whether he was going to switch out or not. It's really sad when my Blastoise is the only thing I have to deal with a Blastoise, but that's unfortunately the situation I was in. I take him out with a useless, I take out his Metagross with a useless crit, and now the question is who's he going to send out? And it's going to be this um, Heliolisk. And if I'd gotten my Sticky Web off, I would just be sweeping through his entire team right now because I could go for the Ice Beam, probably take out, almost certainly take out the Heliolisk. Shoot. Um, but as it stands, I've got to sack Hugabug rather than take um, damage, rather than take needless damage. So goes for the T-Bolt, um, and yeah, so go out into Uchikoma, and uh, I am thinking, I actually do the Calyx and see that I should be able to survive whatever he throws at me. He knows this, and he's going to switch out, and so the question is how, um, what he's going to do, and unfortunately he goes out into his... Um, Rotom as I go for Earthquake. I just had to, I had to do it just in case he stayed in. I guess I could, and honestly, actually, so my other two moves are um, Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch. I really should put a Psychic type move on this guy, um, but I can't figure out what to give up. So now I go out into Victini. I think, I think this should be okay if he goes for the Overheat. That's fine. He goes for the Bolt Switch. Uh, it does about half, so probably Specs. Oh no, he's actually Life Orb. Oh, I was thinking. This is the first time I noticed that in three times going through this battle. He is a life orb set, so that is very good to know. Uh, he goes now out into his um, Haxorus, and so I'm thinking, what's he gonna do? And I, he could, if he goes for the Rock Slide, then the correct move is to go out into Metagross, and if he goes for the Earthquake, then the correct move is to go out into Stella Luna. I decided to go out into Stella Luna because I was thinking he'd predict the Metagross switch in, and HA! I totally did that. And he said, man, I was totally predicting you to go out into Metagross, and I said, yeah, I almost went for the Metagross. He was like, this close. So, uh, he goes now out onto Easy Bake, and I'm hoping that, uh, even on Boosted, so I go for the Nasty Plot on the Switch. Uh, because, yeah, I can KO something with uh, after Nasty Plot, so I know that he's not Scarfed. Um, b based on the damage, I was thinking he was Specs, but uh, having left, missed the Life Orb. But I go ahead and take him out with a Sludge Bomb, and that is fine. Unfortunately, now he's going to go out into... Um, he's going to go out now into his Haxorus, and I need to switch out. I think, you know, I think maybe he's going to overpredict this. He might overpredict this and go for... and not go for the Rock Slide. But that's a chance I really can't take. Watch, after this battle I'm going to look it up and it's currently going to turn out that Crobat outspeeds a Scarfed Haxorus and I'm just going to cry. I don't think that's true, um, but if it's true I'll put it in the annotations right here. So he did go for the Rock Slide, so this was an excellent move. I knew that he would not want to risk going for an EQ because if he mispredicted that, that would just be awful for him. So uh, he's going to go now out into his Titanium, that is his... Um, this thing. Uh, and I go for the Earthquake, uh, his Chestnut, and this is where I'm re I really, really wish that uh, I had Zen Headbutt. If I had Zen Headbutt, this would be taking a lot of damage, although he does have this, he almost certainly has a spiky, excuse me, the spiky shield. Um, yeah, I know a little bit about Chestnut, just not a lot. So I go now into Victini, thinking he's either going to go for the, uh, the, uh, the shield, the spiky shield, or he's going to go for a grass type move. He doesn't go for a grass type move, unfortunately it's Leech Seed. I'm like, well, GG Victini, this is a physical Victini, not a special one, and uh, after a round of Leech Seed and after a round of spiky shield damage, this thing's going to be dead, and at this range of health I can't switch it out and then switch it back in um, because of the spikes. Now maybe actually looking at that health I could have but I would have been left with such little HP. Uh, amazingly, I go for the V-Create, and he doesn't go for... He doesn't actually go for the king, uh, the Spiky Shield, because he predicted my switch. He went for the double seed, and uh, he told me in the battle. And so I actually get the KO, and I'm very happy about this. Uh, so Victini gets a kill, very happy about that. Uh, and now I got, I'm going to sack it. Uh, it's, it's done its job. I'm happy with uh, how much it's done, and I, I would prefer to have the sack. So he goes for the Outrage, which is actually a really good move. Uh, and I think... I don't know... I really should have done the Calx here before I made the decision, but I only had 90 seconds. So I go out into Metagross, but at that range of health, Outrage is going to kill. 
almost certainly. I actually do the no, I actually do the calcs, and I ask him are, af afterwards, are you jolly or are you adamant? Because jolly, I might survive. Adamant, no way. Like, but the odds were so little that it really wasn't worth it for me to go for uh, meteor mash and hope for the the survive because I just wouldn't. There's just there was just no chance. Of course, on the other hand, though, I probably should have then gotten the KO because. Either way, my Blastoise can take him out with an Ice Beam, or it's going to die to... Oh, I was, well, I was hoping for the two-turn Outrage. He gets the three-turn Outrage, which sucks. Uh, he goes for the Outrage here, although it does mean that he can't switch out again, so maybe it doesn't suck. Uh, Maryland, I'm hoping, will be able to survive, and he survives on 22. Thank God. And I'm just going to go for the safe Ice Beam to get the KO. Uh, and so his Haxorus, which is a huge, huge threat, is now down. But looking at who he's got left, he's got his Mega Blastoise, who I actually outspeed, I'm pretty sure, if he's running standard set, and because I run speed EVs on mine, um, and he's got this Heliolisk, he goes out into Heliolisk, unfortunately. I can't switch out because of spikes on the field. Maybe I can? No, I don't think I don't think I could have taken one more, but it doesn't matter, uh, Crobat would have died um, to a Volt Switch just as easily. So he goes ahead and Volt Switches out, and I think about what to do here. So. I do the calcs. Actually, so um, based on how much air slash had done previously, I was thinking that he actually was probably running 252 speed rather than 252 HP, and I calc. There's a slim chance I can take him out with a sludge bomb. Versus if he goes for an ice, uh, an ice beam or a hydro pump against me, there's no way I'll survive. So he actually goes for the dark pulse, uh, not wanting to risk the miss on the hydro pump and apparently not carrying the ice beam. Had I gone for the nasty plot, I would have been able to win the game. But as it stands, I'm like, oh well, I guess it's a tie game because uh, one more round of life orb damage and I'm dead. And I don't think Heliosk is uh, bulky enough to take a sludge bomb. Um, of course, if I'd done the calcs, so um, I'm spoiling the ending by a few seconds here by telling you I go for the sludge bomb and it's not going to KO. Like, it gets him down low, but unless I'd gotten a crit, I wouldn't have been able to KO. But if I'd gone for the nasty plot, I would have won! Of course, if he'd gone for the ice beam or the hydro pump, then he would have won a lot more easily. So it is what it is. Uh, I think I made the right move in that particular instance. So that was a really great game, Phil. I hope you folks in the audience enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.